What's going on, y'all? This is Travis from Chasing Anthems coming at you guys today with another episode of our guitar mod series. So hang tight and we're going to get into this. Whoa! What's up, y'all? Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. If you guys are new to the channel, we greatly appreciate you checking this video out and giving our channel uh, some love. If you wouldn't mind, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, be, hit the bell to be notified of future videos, do all that kind of good stuff, and also links to our original music down in the description box. But with that being said, what we're here to do today is we have been modding out this 2012 Studio Les Paul. I'm a huge fan of the black on black. I got the flat black, I got the black uh, pick guard there. And the last video we did, link up above, is we took off the covers on the humbuckers uh, to see what was below there. Wasn't quite sure if I got the zebra pickups or if we got black on black, and bam, there you guys have it, black on black. So a couple other quick little modifications, added some uh, Grover tuners there. Uh, which are extremely essential, especially when you're playing a lot of gigs and you're constantly changing out strings, all that kind of good stuff. Locking tuners are essential. But, however, I've been getting a lot of questions. Uh, what is the difference sound-wise with the covers, the pickup covers on versus off? So today we're going to be doing a side-by-side -side comparison. First, we'll be running uh, some clean tones through my Vox AC15. And we'll be micing it up with my SM7B microphone. Almost forgot there. Uh, we'll do a side-by-side -side without. And then uh, the other half of this video, bam! We're going to be adding these black uh, covers on our pickups. Uh, pickups I picked up from some buddies over at our friends at Musician Outfitters. I'll add a link here below. This is not sponsored by them, but that is our preferred uh, music provider of choice. They got all sorts of great gear over there. So go ahead, check those guys out. Let them know that we sent you over there. Show them some love. Amazing customer service. Tons of products. They will get it to you in no time for the best deal possible. All right. So then we're also going to do uh, a distortion comparison, right? And I'm going to run that through my Helix uh, stage pedal and it'll go directly in through Logic so you guys can hear what, what are we comparing up against, right? Uh, what does it sound like? Is it better? Is it not? My general feeling is so far, just playing it without the covers on there, is that there's a, a little more volume, a little rawer sound. Uh, but I don't know. Let's see. Let's get into it and uh, let you guys be the judge of that, all right? Let's go. on there doesn't that look absolutely sick i love it i think it looks super awesome
right guys, so what do you think? With or without the covers? Either way, I think it looks way cooler with the covers on. But as far as sound and tonal quality, I personally, my opinion is, I got a lot more volume without the covers on than with, but I did get more tonal quality, I think. And from my ear and perspective, it sounded a lot richer, a lot warmer sounding with the covers on. But I don't know, hey, to each their own. Everybody's got their own opinion. Um, you know, it's kind of like a hot rod, man. You know, you can customize it or, and do whatever you want to it to, you know, meet your needs and what you're looking for. Take them on, take them off, do whatever you want. At the end of the day, uh, it's all about the journey and having fun and making new sounds and searching for, uh, you know, what you're looking to do from a music uh, standpoint. Um, so, yeah, overall, uh, I think I'm going to keep them on for now. However, I am considering, boom, putting one of these bad boys, P9, uh, in the neck pickup. What do you guys think? It's going to have to take a little routing. We're going to have to do some modifications to make this happen. But uh, I'm interested to see what would do, you know, how it would sound and, and look and all that kind of good stuff. Let me know in the comments if you guys are interested in seeing what a P90 in a studio Les Paul would sound like, look like, let me know, and maybe it'll be in future videos. So you're gonna need to subscribe to make sure you do not miss out. With that being said, thank you guys so much for tuning in today and checking this video out, giving us some love and support. And support. Please consider subscribing, doing all the good stuff, and go check out some of my original stuff. Links in the description below. I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.